there's porcelain, there's earthenware, there's raku, there's you know, all different types. Do you have porcelain? I just taught you this, Bethany, where were you? I went undergrad to Michigan. Are you from Ohio State? Is that the problem? What's the problem? No. So what you've got here is you've got a nice piece of porcelain, nice bright white clay. You have a Nippon mark, which means it dates between 1891 and 1921, right? And this particular mark is green. The green Nippon mark means, oh, the highest quality that Nippon makes. Nippon means it's made in Japan. It is hand-painted, 22 karat gold banding all the way around. Someone's painting this on, gilding this on, right? Now, all hand-painted Japanese piece, how did you acquire it? Um, my grandmother asked me to come over to her house. She's uh, not doing very well and asked if I would take something from her house to remember her by. Oh, grandma isn't doing too well and she said, please come over and take something to remember her by. I found that shoved under a small table. This was shoved under a small table. Right? She covered said, I want you to have it, honey. Covered in dust, she said. Covered in dust. A friend of her friend gave it to her. Her friend gave it to her. So, does this remind you of Grandma somehow? Does it really? What other things would remind you of Grandma? You've got to ask. I know you're all going crazy. Oh, gosh, it's terrible. Ask. Because most grandmas don't realize that you really want, oh, I really want the clock that I used to hear tick on Sunday when we'd come for pancakes after church. I really want the hit ass, you know, and if you feel bad and you don't want to just give it to her, offer her something for it. Money, me, chores, whatever it might be. She gave me a piano that plays music and she always plays piano. She gives you, gives you a piano that plays music and you should always play the piano so that makes you feel like that. Okay. So, but if you don't ask, they don't know. You know who ends up with this stuff? The auctioneer's daughter. The neighbor who never took in your mail. He'll go get it out of the dumpster, right? The guy who does the lawn, nice guy, but should he have your grandmother's clock? No. You know what I mean? So you have to ask and try to keep these things in the family. The value on this piece, which dates to the turn of the 20th century, is worth about $175. Nice. 